Why I refuse releasing Namde Kanu now, despite approval by the courts and UN? Bwari confessed. Voice loud. Good evening, my dear listeners in the house. I greet you people once again this very evening. It's a pleasure um, meeting you in this same platform. I want to appreciate you for your comments in this very channel this very morning. In fact, I'll tell you that it has been marvelous and so sweet having you in this channel. You will not believe it until this very information is um, is revealed to you. This is not a story that was told, but it is a reality that was revealed by Mr. President to the media during an interview. In fact, he said it pop and plain and clear, giving us reason why is still keeping Namde Kanu in detention and the person behind the whole scenario. Wow, 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 wow. All right, um, without wasting much of your time, let's quickly check on the content. My dear listeners, this is Evening News. It's so disappointing as Mr. President revealed his reasons for still keeping Mazi Namde Kanu in detention. President Momop Wari have said that Mazi Namde Kanu do has pleaded not guilty of all count charges, but then have some other little trials he need to clear off. Namde Kanu has been pleaded not guilty of 11, 10, and 7 count charge. But then, Nam Kano has been tagged as an issue to this very country. Nam Kano has been tagged as the number one terrorist and the only one making Nigeria to be in the tension of dividing. It's just a question of agreement. Nam Kano must agree to forget all about division. Biafra, yes, existed, but no more. It died the moment Ojuku died. Ojuku, who happens to be the founder of Biafra, owned up before dying. It is simple. If only Nnamdi Kanu can just hands off the struggle, is as good as going. Barry pleading to the UN have said that Namdi Kanu is the only issue to his trial. His trials would have just been waved off if he has just let go the agitation. Agitation for Biafran struggle is what is causing the pains that many Nigerians are going through, he said. Mr. President, um, I don't know what to say other than saying that you are you are just too tribalistic and um, and then biased. Yes, you are just too tribalistic and biased, and it's it doesn't all go well, and it's not good for your kind for your caliber of person. To be frank, it's not okay. You understand? You see, Mr. President, um, when talking about agitation for Biafran freedom, it is not today. I hope you know that. And um, since you know that it is not a today thing, you're supposed to know that the struggle is not for Namde Kano. This is a struggle that Namde Kano met. He is only just carrying it on further. He never started it. He is only coming in to make sure that the fight which his predecessor fought that they were unable to achieve is actualized. You understand? And that is one thing I want you to understand. 
So keeping Nambikanu in detention cannot solve this issue. Oh, you want Nambikanu to own up so before you can release him. You're wasting your time. Now, the people who are more than you are now telling you to release him and you are challenging them. Okay, whatever you see, you take. Didn't the UN know that no know, know anything about the Biafran struggle? Why did they now still, despite knowing that, they now still ordered you to release Nam Bikanu? Are you brainier than, than the UN? Are you more brainier than the UN? That is a problem. Stubbornness. Headstrong. They said it. That is the person I'm boring. That is this person. And it, I'll tell you, it doesn't go away at all. It's, it's, it's really affecting this country. It's really affecting this country and I think um, it is important that something be done about this and be done with immediate effect. Because we, if, we, if we continue like this, I tell you, we'll be the ones suffering it. We'll be the ones suffering it. Because the worry that I'm seeing is not ready. Absolutely not ready to let go. But rather, he is ready to multiply the war. <laughs> you don't know anything. That is what I see. You understand? So, um, let's just keep our fingers crossed and keep watching what President Mobari have installed. You understand? Let's keep watching. So please, and please, and please, and please, my dear listeners in the house, Based on this very um, fact, what is your thought and what's your take? What do you think? Hmm? What do you think? So please don't forget your comments are very, very, very important. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.